Hello everyone, welcome back. Now this time I'm going to be playing some uh, Team Deathmatch. Uh, I figure... Uh... Okay, is there anybody here? See, since I'm a lower level... I don't know if I'm going to find many people, if anybody at all. Because it seems to be most people are actually just uh, the high levels from what I've seen. <coughs> Which could be beneficial to me. So I have a heal over time power up. I got armor boost. So, all I gotta do, since <laughs> this is kind of nice being a low level going through here, uh, there's another armor power up. I'm gonna go grab that. Fifty armor. Ooh, here's another power up over here. Let's go grab that. I'm waiting for the essence of death uh, thing to pop up. Another heal over time power up. It's like... I don't care if no, there's no other low levels playing this. I'm going to keep doing it. Another armor power up I see in the distance. Um... So, so far this is kind of nice. There's nobody here to kind of mess me up. The only bad thing is it also means I'm not getting any kills. Sorry, I'm watching my Go Plus device. Like, ah. The only bad thing about the Go Plus device is, like, okay. Honestly, if you have it, that's awesome. It's going to benefit you mostly. Uh, for the stops in general Especially if you're let's say you're traveling with somebody and you know Wherever you're traveling the driver they're going to be going past a lot of stops take advantage of it <clears throat> A super power-up just spawned, but where did it spawn? Heal over time power-up it's going crazy. Hey, I just caught something. Okay. Where is this super power up? I just picked up more armor. See, this is one of the benefits about being a low level. Uh, okay, there's a heal over time power up. We'll go grab that. I mean, it might as well. I only have uh, six minutes left for this. So now I don't know if this means I won't get any kills, but like I mean I have the most kills. And another super power up just spawned. I think there's one right up there actually. <clears throat> Looks like it's the one that turns the your opponent's food into cabbages. Uh, food and bandages, yeah. Food and bandages all turn to cabbages for everybody else. Another super power up. I'm gonna get some more armor. Okay, I guess the maximum armor you can get, additional armor, is 200, so keep that in mind. Ooh, the chicken army. I will grab that. I can now spawn chickens to attack people, but there's nobody to attack. Oh, thank God that's my friend, 111. <laughs> it's actually one powerful chicken. Okay, so that super power of wow, it's cool. 
is not really. Ooh, what's that up there? <clears throat> so if you are playing this and if you are low level, um, I would recommend going in anyway. I am now overpowered. There's another armor one, but I don't need that. Yeah, I picked up 50 armor, but I'm already at the maximum amount of armor you can have. I mean, this is kind of boring, but I kind of want to see if I'll get, you know, points in the end or not. So, I guess... Oh, wait a minute. No essence is a draft because there need to be at least 20 players in the arena. Okay, so... Oh, this is going to bite. I don't know if I'll actually be able to get any points. Because there has to be at least 20 players in the arena for that. Does that mean I have to? there has to be so many players in the arena in general? If so, that kind of bites. And Jackets, if you could try to get some different level ranges in here too. Instead of just 80 plus. And also maybe have NPCs spawn to fill out the rest of it. I mean, I know that might sound like cheating to some people. But if you have NPCs with a smart AI. And they're doing the same stuff as a regular player would. It would really benefit people in the long run. Because then, let's say this does dwindle down after people get their rewards. Um... You know, then, you know, you can actually still benefit from this mini game, unless it actually doesn't require you to actually kill anything. Uh, that would be great, but so far, I have a feeling it's going to have me required to kill. Go bank fissure. Oh. As you can see, there is ways of getting away from meleeers. Uh, there is a lot of corners you can run around, and a lot of things you can do. Uh, but it did seem like the lowest, the low level form of this was level 80. So, uh, jackets, if you can get actually some more low level ones too, that'd be beneficial. Because I can guarantee you, after the rewards are already claimed for a while. It's going to be a dead mini game. It's not that the mini games are bad. The mini games are actually quite good. It's just the fact that people will only do mini games if there is a repeatable good reward. So we're talking a lot of XP is the main thing. So, I mean, XP is usually the most desired thing. So if you can get a way for people to get better and better XP, that's going to be the way to do it. Because like right now, my guy can just plop right down and I'm going to be the only one in here for the full 10 minutes. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get any points because I'm going to get zero kills, which I think you need at least one kill to have the most amount of kills. So that kind of sucks. And... There is ways that people could abuse this if you think about it. If you are lower levels, you can get a bunch of lower levels or just one to go in with you to join an instance and odds are you'll be paired up because you're both at the same range. And then it'll end up being that, you know, let's say the one person's like, hey, no, you go ahead, you get all your points and then I'll get all mine and you know, they'll just do that and then rewards are done. So keep that in mind for this uh, mini game. It is, it does look like it is good. It looks like it has a lot of potential. But it's not looking like there's a lot of repeatability with the rewards. Because a lot of them are one time claim and then you have them. So. But I mean, I do like it. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I ain't knocking it. It's just. Most of the rewards 
one-time claim. Some of the other ones, people were just going to not even bother. All right. Rank 1, kills, deaths, assists, none. Points awarded, yep, none. All right, so keep that in mind if you guys are interested in playing the team deathmatch. You do have to actually go into and find a group. Uh, yeah, see, it's 80 through 119 and 120 plus. And, I mean, I don't want to join it at the 80 through 119. But, we'll see how this goes. Odds are, I'm not going to do well. Because, I mean, look at that. Yeah, see, right away I'm spawned right near somebody that's like over double. Over double my level. So th this is just absolutely going to suck. Uh, so... Jackets? I'm just going to exit it because I'm not going to be like force feeding people points. Alright, so... My honest opinion of Team Deathmatch. Well, Deathmatch. I'm used to Deathmatch being associated with Team Deathmatch. Uh, but what I'm really getting from this is it could be good, but there's a lot of ways that people could abuse this, and it's not. It's not overly sound. There is things that it could be better in. It is an overall good thing, but people are probably just going to be abusing this until they get all the rewards they want. So, that's my honest opinion. There just needs to be a little bit more of core structure going on. I mean, I know the grouping is kind of random, but whenever you only have it so high levels can do it, it's going to take away from the overall experience. But that's my feedback on it just from this just from this little bit. I mean it could get better and better. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, later guys.